Good afternoon, my name is TF2 Public Ferret and today I'm here in TF2Title.com Project Beta UK and today we're on Upward. As you may have seen and hear, uh, it's um, Val's 15th birthday soon or I think maybe uh, TF2's 8th. Uh, currently having a few problems with people joining teams. Um, uh, the console command is, please, uh, join team, space, red. And then, you know, or then all blue. Try that as instead. A few little problems there. Anyway, 9v9. And the games begin. Now it's upward. Nice outdoorsy map. Probably a good play. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, whoa, yeah. There. <laughs> There's the MOTD. Kicks in a bit late. But there it is. Um. But yeah, the MOTD just occasionally will then just pop up occasionally. Um. The thing is, though, uh, I would recommend using the um, overclocker on this map. Lovely, lovely long lines of sight here and there. I try using those. Again, this is another nice map for the heavy lifter if you can stamp on people. And Zydran is killed by Dark Demon. Unfortunately, the Vox Trot isn't going to be so effective now. And Dark Demon kills off Mario as well. Watch them skies. And then Dark Demon, I think, dies from fall damage. Great. <laughs> now, in any case, back to the game. 4 minutes 11. Okay, blue team is not doing as well as expected. We are seeing a number of people sitting in spawn. Zydrain, get a move on! Now, in any case, <laughs> now, in any case, remember, push the cart. I'm trying to remember what all the weapons are. Okay, remember, we've got the supply chain. That's good if you want to do some commando NG work. And I know you guys love doing commando NG work in this game. That gives you 50 metal every 5 seconds. That's very nice. Um, what else is there? There's the barrel roll, which is a new sniper rifle. Basically, it's more of a battle rifle. Doesn't know you charge shot, but as you fire five shots at, in, at once, or one after the other, very quickly. Uh, no gifts at the moment, please, man. I'm trying to do a commentary. And there are no random crits on the tightrope servers. They were voted off, being declared awful. Which, in fact, honestly, they are actually amazing. And okay, look at it. Red team is completely dominating uh, blue today. Sorry if my commentary is not as sprightly as normal. Unfortunately, I had a terrible night last night. Humidity was maximum. Heat was maximum. No scrambling the teams. We only scramble the teams after each team has one, you know, way around. Uh, I wish it was me met meeting a girl and having a rough night. Or giving her a rough night. But no. Uh, it's more that like the humidity and heat was so bad, I couldn't actually, uh, you know, get to sleep properly. If I had met a girl, if I if I ever did get a girlfriend, uh, the light, the um, future of TF2 Public Ferret as a channel and server uh, would be at stake. Let's put it that way. I don't know. She might want some more time. I might not be able to make certain nights. Um, uh, that's a bit late, GBK. I um, I, I did have a I did have another I did have a life before this channel, right? I did have a girlfriend. It was a good five year relationship. We parted amicably, but there were certainly irre irreconcilable differences between us. Now, okay, 1 minute 36, and it looks like Blue Team is actually managing to get out here. Oh, everyone looks at I think blue team's coming back. To be fair, Scar, you're an engineer. You're not supposed to be doing carty things like that, but we love it when you try. And very nice. Okay, time back on the clock here. And there's an Uber. Now, the essential factor for blue team here is they've got to keep that cart pushed. You can't let it slack now. You, you basically bought time. You bought continuance, not more game time. Scar's on the cart, being an absolute trooper. Punch him! 
That'll do. Now. The other thing I'm also seeing with all these like gibs and everything when people die, I'm seeing like all these, you know, present boxes. I get really excited for some stupid reason. I know they're virtual and they're not real, but ooh, ooh presents. <laughs> now in any case, look at Scar though. This guy's being an absolute champ. Uh, until he died. Um the fact he made a false teeth, a few a pub cap, a cog, and a, a bloody hand. Hmm. Um, very interestingly, on the hubcaps, the hubcaps have like a weird red and blue symbol side by side. Hmm. Now, in any case, Scar is pushing up very nicely. Now, everyone should follow Scar's advice, especially the heavies, and push the cart. You need more time. You cannot. You cannot basically decide to play around. I know it's Valve birthday day. Um. But you know, you got to get on with this. Scar there refuses to recognise the authority of heavies and will push the cart nonetheless. Hey, Hook Monster! We have Hook Monster in um, watching in. Say hello, guys. I think he's waiting for. I think he's waiting for an in. Uh, that's the only problem with the uh, tightrope server. Actually, is that there are only um, tw you know 24 slots here. And uh, Grey Boy there. If you're having a real problem, okay, Grey Boy is on red. Very good. Very good. I'm afraid the server is now legitimately full. There goes Scar again. Seriously, why is nobody else pushing the cart? This is not an engineer job. I mean, he's actually taking out other people's sentries. Can you guys, I don't know, be more like Scar? I know engineers are supposed to push the cart and all that, but you know what? It's a casual game. They don't have to. Also, we are seeing other shenanigans go on here. Way too many other shenanigans. Um, yeah, blue team is trying something. Oh no, no! Dark Demon says no. Oh no, them engineers. I've seen what they're up to there. Alright. Oh, not Dark Demon, somebody else. I can't remember who it was. Now, right now, it looks like the cart's nearly getting pushed over. Somebody needs to just keep an eye on that. One medic, trying his best. Oh! Unlucky there. And Zydran and... Who was that? Altor, I think. Yep, just capped that nicely. Cart still pushing quite nicely. Dark Demon TJ misses Cart. Attempts to kill everything with fists. Um, isn't happy and dies on the floor. Now this is that weird third map part of the map here. Red team are now slowly losing ground and blue team is ever gaining time back. They've not made it very quick this map. Um, now red team does need to get some sort of sentryage up and running here somewhere. They've got Grey Boy on it, but part of the problem is he's having to really contest with everything at the moment. And that's Narvo there. You can tell by the distinctive use of yep. Whenever I see a direct hit soldier with a stout shako, it's Narvo. Whenever I see a stout shako, he's probably he's probably Narvo. He's probably got a direct hit. And seriously, he's e it's easily one of our best um, direct hitters on the in the game, and a bane to engineers. And there it goes. Scar and nice work there by Mario. And that's eight minutes on the clock. They have really bought this game back now, Blue Team. They were so close to losing it, and now they're so close to winning it. Whee! Hey, Corms FPS. Uh, sorry about the uh, problems with uh, the server connection and things like that. Uh, if you would like to join a team, please type into your console, join team, space, red, or BLU. Uh, that way you can uh, join a team. Uh, 
Uh, uh, it's not um, not in chat, uh, and it's not with an exclamation mark. Although that might count for console, but you might need to try and get to the console. I think. Oh, GBK there, nice pun uh, nice punch on um, GBK there by Dark Demon with the gloves of steel. But looks like Blue might win this game. Where are Red Sentries? And there goes the cart. Is there anything left to save him here? Oh, nice shot there from Panic Police. GBK just keeping the cart. Sky really trying. Camidoc, can he save it? It's looking good. I think Camidoc's got this. No. Oh! Bounce into the air, but it was too late. Nasty done there from Blue Team. Okay, game two. Uh, nice first game. I've we I initially thought that Red Team was going to completely dominate it, but. For some reason, Blue managed to push through, and then beyond that, what we saw was a lack of red engineering. There were just no engineers anywhere, and because of that, there were some real problems. But however, though, the previous team having three engineers on their team, uh, now going to be able to set up like champs. This is going to be a lot harder now. Well, actually, no, G GBK, you love when your team has engineering. I mean, as a scout, you know the problems of being medicked. Nobody, gives, nobody actually ubers you up or does anything with you because I think you're a scout and you're not worth anything. But that engineer is always there with his dispenser, isn't he? It's like... That, is that dispenser? Oh yeah, dispenser loves everybody. Dispenser doesn't care who you are, even if you're the opposite, opposite team's uh, spy, but he'll heal you anyway. There goes Dark Demon, going straight into orbit. Um, I think he's trying a bit too hard. And he still kills iGamer I. I have a feeling iGamer might have been AFK or just failed to look up. And I think iGamer I had an Uber ready as well. Oh, nice stab there from Altor. Razor back for medic. No. Razorback back my most annual my the most butt hurt weapons ever created in TF2. You know how like basically everyone's a razor back because they don't want to get stabbed. Uh, they should not have made the razor back because it makes snipers you know way too. It's like you know all, all the snipers, all the most pro snipers, or you know people with heavy play sniper use razor back because they don't want to get stabbed. And they know it's the only way they can get killed, you know, without them, be, without you know, they seeing the person running up to them. To be fair, I still love you know being a bonk scout running straight up to them, and then they they start panicking. That's always hilarious. I'll just headshot him, and he's invulnerable. Shit. I I love flustering snipers. Snipers are such a pain in the ass, smug gits who think they basically own the game because. You know what? I have the best KD ratio. I'm really handy and I'm amazing. And they're always like the most annoying guys in terms of bravado, except maybe for GBK as scout. But that's a different kind of professionalism. To be fair, I respect the professionalism of scouts. You can aim and sh you can move and shoot and be in danger. Whereas snipers are always at the back, always hiding in spawn, shooting things, and then they say I'm the I am most credit to team. No, no, spies on the other hand, spies are a credit to team. Uh, they're not so pride for us. They can be a little bit. They, they do have that pro feel about them. But uh, at least spies are willing to, you know, get their hands dirty and backstabbing people. And you've got to admit, that takes balls. Oh yeah, the hardest class in TF2. The thing is, um, there's a bit, you know, there's a lot of discussion here about, you know, what is the hardest class in TF2? Was the thing, and people say about skill ceilings. Well, arguably, the highest skill ceilings are soldier and dare man in terms of flying and jumping and whatnot. 
However, though, um, it doesn't mean they're the better class. Uh, you know, there are some classes that are easier to play than others. Uh, let's put it for this, in this way, for example. Um, heavy is really easy to play to begin with, but you can still have a pro heavy. And it doesn't take too... I mean, it does take some knowledge. It doesn't take s reflex in that. It takes game awareness skills. And that's the thing uh, I do find with the TF2 community. They, they severely um, discount uh, awareness skills as a, as a legitimate skill. Like, knowing how things work. S good spies actually have good awareness skills. Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry, this is TF2 Titan. This is a modded server with some changes. If you would like to fly, please use the uh, Who Along heater. And, um, you know, press right click on it and you begin to fly. And, oh, Mario, most Dom's EU, he's got the smallest of crowns, but he at least has the crown. Nice work, Mario. Now, for the moment, 1 minute 30, and Blue Team is still getting a real, having a real problem here moving up. If you really want to troll flying flying heavies, though, use the um, overclocker. Stick your sentry somewhere where you know people can't. Oh, or that. Yeah, Dark Demon's having a massive problems trying to get around his Idran's uh, sentry there. Just having massive problems overall with Scar sentry. I'm sorry, Dark Demon. It's the perfect counter. You may have to try something else. But yes, if you have any concerns about you want to play something special on that, uh, please type into the chat wiki, and it brings up a little wiki page of all the variously modified weapons. And please feel free to try them out. I mean, some of the combos are hilarious. Um, I would personally, if you're new to this, try using uh, Criticola. It makes your scout tiny. Oh my god, Lonely Bandicoot sentry there, fighting as hard as it possibly can. Oh dear god. Miasmic, they're really trying. Narvo's just sitting on the cart the entire time. Deep Fried Monkey's on there as well. Nudges are going everywhere. Oh my god, can they do it? Come on, Dark Demon! You're oh my god! Oh boy. Now, Blue Team has an extension. They need to get that cart pushed. They cannot afford to play around anymore. Steve the Hippo there, nice invasion. But blue team needs to move that cart. Unlucky they're Jock Todd. Seriously though, nice one Cammy Doc though, just generally burninating people. You know there's always a weapon I like to advertise in very open spaced environmental hazard maps like this? Do you know which weapon it is? Oh no, not the fa- <laughs> The Force of Nature, to be fair, is one of them. And is very good for scales, so, you know. Air blasting is the traditional method, but there's a much longer range, more scumbag- Ah yes, the loose cannon, double donking. To be fair though, the FAN is much more reliable, because if it, you're up against the pyro, they can't reflect bullets, so they can just get shot off the side. No, 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 I just... Oh, no, no, I just... No, I don't... I've, I've been advertising the loose cannon for the longest of time, long before Muzok did. Muzok did. Muzok's good, but, you know, I've advertised certain things for ages. Like, you know, to be fair, you know, there's also something else we haven't seen much of today. And it might explain why the carts aren't being pushed so much. Where are the demo trains? Uh, they seem to have gone somewhere. Bring back demo train. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> What's wrong with demo trains? A perfectly legitimate tactic. Oh yeah, oh my god, yeah, to be fair, uh, Blue's not going to have a good time there, you do need to have an Uber for that. Maybe I should, you know, do the Uber again. Although, deep fried there. 
Nice work from Deep Fry. Takes down Bacon Bait and one Sentry. Hey, Super Martin. Oh, if you're stuck in um, Spectator, please uh, go to console, type in join team, space, and then red. That should get you onto a team. Or at some point the MOT will just kick up and then it'll have normal privileges again. And in any case, from the looks of it, Dark Demon is trying. There's that demo train there. Miasmic is trying to keep the cart alive. The sentries are down. People need to move in. Where is team? No, nope, and Red wins it with a nice auto scramble on the end of that. Nicely done. And Mario's got five doms. Also very nice. 